So, what's up guys? The James DTV here. In this video, I want to show you guys how I dual booted iOS 9 and um, iOS 6.1.3 on my iPad 2. And um, it involves jailbreaking. So, if you want to try this yourself, you must jailbreak. But yeah, James's iPad 2. It is 9.3.5, so let's get into this video, and let's see, um, I'm going to go in my jailbreak folder, cool booter, uh, boot, and um, what? Okay, I uh, don't know what just happened, um, we're just going to wait. Alright, so let me try this again. Um, great, now, did I just break my iPad? Shoot. I don't know what the heck I just did. Uh, I'll get back to you guys. So what happened was I must have done the tweak wrong, so I'm gonna just retry it. So let's see that part. All right, so we are rebooting the iPad. Holy crap, that 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 looks like I gotta clean off my lens on my camera. But yeah, we're gonna um, reboot, and I'm gonna try jailbreaking it again. I think I screwed something up, so yeah, we got the Apple logo, which is good. Um, that was weird because I was typing in my password and it said it was wrong. I'm hoping it didn't just change my password. Come on, this iPad's uh, 2011, so it's kind of slow. All right, there we go. Alright. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Alright, just to show you guys that I'm going to jailbreak. So it's Phoenix. Kickstart jailbreak. Use provided offsets. So it's jailbreaking now. Um, okay, it says my iPad is jailbroken. And we're going to wait for it to respring. Don't worry, it did not reboot because the screen is not super bright. It's not on full brightness. It stayed to the same brightness that I had it preset to. So it's respringing and it should be working. So um, yeah, I'm sorry this video kind of took a wrong turn, but we're going to get into it. Yeah, no, we're on 9.3.5. Uh, I do have issues with Cydia, but I don't have a computer that runs Mac OS or Windows to fix it, so yeah, I gotta, gotta just use Cydia and iOS 6, so let's unlock, there we go, now let's try that again. That's a good sign. Oh, the old Apple logo. Yo, I did it. Yeah, we get the old Apple logo at first, then it shows all this on the screen. Should be loading. Yeah, no, we're dual booting basically. This is really cool. I don't, I don't have a way of showing you how to get the tweak because, um, on iOS 9, on the iOS 9 part of this iPad, um, City, it does not work. Oh my god, we're in. iOS 6. Oh, Apple ID password, cancel, I don't have internet on here right now. 
Okay, we got Cydia. Let's go into music. Oh, shoot, I've got music on here. We got some Dash Gaz Dawn 3. I have not used iOS 6 for a while. I have iOS 4 on my iPhone 7 using a thing called, um, shoot, uh, I, uh, old OS. It runs iOS 4 on your modern device. So, let's go into video mode. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the video. I'm just going to show you guys the sound. It, it's so cool. Uh, let's see what I had in photos. Oh my god, no way. I have this one from Family Guy. <laughs> Brian and Stewie. Oh, here's a screenshot from... This is what what it looks like if you get a FaceTime call on um, iOS 6. Um, we got Bitey Frank. Um, iOS 7 wallpaper. What's this? Oh, that was just a test, I think. Yep. There's the actual iOS 6 wallpaper. There's me. iOS 6 home screen. Oh, the Mac OS. Um, shoot. Which version of OS 10 was it? Was Leopard or Snow Leopard? I, I get mixed up. Um, oh, shoot. That's when my laptop ran Linux Mint. Wait, it still does. But... Oh, Mr. Sparkle from The Simpsons. Oh, that's the video I just did. Huh. We even have the old school app switcher, you know. Now, oh shoot, I forgot this one does that too. Now it does. This one change color. Oh no, it doesn't do that. Dang it, I gotta go into the music app. Turn on a song. Now if we turn it on. That's really cool because that thing actually moves. Now I'm going to go into settings and I'll show you guys I'm not screwing with you. This is the same iPad. Same iPad. I do not have two iPads. Um, about. James's iPad 2 iOS 6.1.3. See it's on 6.1.3. 6.1.6 was available for the iPod Touch 4 and the iPhone 3GS because they didn't get iOS 7. Now you know what, this is since this is already jailbroken on iOS 9, I can actually turn on some themes. iOS 7 lock screen iPad. iOS 7 dock. Respring. Now, th this is really cool. That you can respring you can jailbreak basically your dual booting. You're dual booting and jailbreaking both ends. Alright, it looks kinda it looks kinda weird. What the Okay there we go. Yep, there we go. We got the iOS seven icons. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Um Yeah. And then in here we've got the new icons. It isn't perfect, but it is decent. Um, we'll go back, respring again. But yeah, no, this is fun. It's like jailbreaking iOS 6. Never thought I'd be able to ever do this, but I did get to. And now I'm gonna change the wallpaper back to um, the stock iOS wallpaper. Know, hold on. No. Oh, wait, wrong one. We gotta set it to this one. Because this is the wallpaper this iPad had when it came out. 
iOS 5 is what it came with. So iOS 6 isn't that different except driving off a bridge. Who remembers the good old days when Apple Maps was total crap? Should have called it Apple Craps, honestly. Yeah, no, it is pretty cool. It's very fluid. I think iOS 6 runs way much, way better on this iPad than iOS 9 does. It's like, look at how smooth that is. Like, that, that's the best part about this. I will be doing a video where I actually, um where I actually get iOS 7 on here. Look at that, look at how smooth that is. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.